welcome to Photopod. I'm actually making this video, uh, I'll call it a post photo booth expo wrap up video uh, in case you missed us at the uh, photo booth expo 2019 in Las Vegas. Uh, we have some new products we want to showcase and basically give you a quick demo. Uh, and in this showroom, we have pretty much all our units and I'll do a quick tour around. You can see what they are and I'll explain it to you. So this one here is what we call our version two original. This one is about 110 pounds and we have the photo mirror option, uh, which is actually a photo mirror that we, you can actually put on. And we have a spec sheet here that kind of lists everything on a web page. Uh, so this is the version two original, which you see right here with our version five photo mirror add-on. So you can actually take off the cover and pop on the mirror cover and then you get yourself a photo mirror. So this is the larger one. Uh, over here we have our version 3 mini. Uh, and this one, it's pretty bright but let me bring it in. There I go. This one here is full DSLR cameras. They all go up and down. So there's a switch here on the side and that raises and lowers it. So by hitting that switch it goes up and down. Our newest units uh, that we're releasing will actually have a remote as well for the mini. So with the mini, you can also raise and lower with the remote. So that's a new feature that we have. This one is our regular normal photo booth. You can actually take off the cover and pop on another cover. And this is another sample in black. And then we have uh, the white one here. And with that in mind, if you take off the front cover, you can actually put on the mirror cover, which you see in this one here. So that's the version three mini. This right here is the version four nanopod, uh, which is our smallest unit. And what's cool about this is it runs normal booth, or you can run it with battery and right now it's charging and we have a indicator that tells you how much it's charged so it's 91 percent almost there so you take this battery pack pop it in the back run it full battery powered if you want to and this is the version 4 nanopod uh, what's cool about this is if i was to start it that's our template uh, we have filters here you can choose from it's running darkroom booth so you could change your logo, put it anywhere you want, and we'll give you this template that you can play with and change the fonts and uh, customize it yourself pretty much. Now it has a DSLR camera right here and a ring light that is always on. Uh, it's running LED lights and you can actually move this. It's like a little, we we'll call it a uh, rubber hood mount and you would focus the camera and then you would snap it back. So that's how that works. And on the back side, you would see where the camera system is. And it has flash built in. So you can see right here, all the flash settings, change the dial to uh, increase the, um, the power for the flash. And since it's all connected, this unit actually gives you flash capabilities as well. So it's running constant lighting, and it would give you flash as well, which is the best of both worlds. So with this unit, we have something we call the LED branding panel. And it just sits in front of it. And instead of wrapping your unit, so let's say you bring it to a printing place, you can wrap it, vinyl wrap it with your logo. In this uh, setup, it's just a digital branding. So you don't have to wrap anything. You just pop on your logo. There's a flash drive that goes back here and the software will read the pictures and the video and will display it on the screen. Now it's so bright and it's meant for outdoor use that it's really hard to pick it up. Let me see if I can focus it here. There we go. It's really hard to pick it up, but um, you can kind of see how it works. So this is just uh, photos that I put in and I made a little slideshow out of it. And you can do photos, you can do videos, uh, you can have it cycle. So here's my logo. Photopod, and this one's a movie file, uh, which I did in After Effects and then imported into the flash drive and it goes into the branding panel. 
And my assistant here is gonna show you how to take it off. It's really easy. But, um, so it's just kind of hanging out in the front. And there's like a little bracket and he's gonna pull it off for you. All right, he's gonna slide it up. Yep, and it pulls off and that's how it looks like. The bracket here. And on this side is the uh, bracket to hold it in. Now, since the bracket is already pre-built into the unit, if you don't want to see it, we'll just put it to the side here. If you don't want to see the bracket, um, this leg column is the same on both sides. So you can actually take this and flip it the other way because the other side is just uh, blank, empty. So you can have it in the front with the uh, branding panel or just flip it on the back side and just have it as a normal photo booth. Again, it's all touch screen. Uh, we're not using iPad systems. It's full DSLR camera with a monitor panel that's separate. Uh, which is great because if someone wants to knock it and and crack it then you just have to place the front panel and not the whole unit or the... and there's lights that uh, shine these are LED lights that go around there uh, there's a little hole here you can't see it but if you take that little panel off uh, you can put a webcam or slow, slow motion camera in there as well and all units go up and down so you press the button, it goes up and down. So you can have it really low for kids. And when you pack it up, you probably want it low as well. Uh, we have a remote control for it as well here. So if you don't want to use the wire remote, you can use the, the remote control. So if you're doing a party and it's just you and the scrapbooking, you can sit down the scrapbook and then just use this to control the height width. And it's not using fluids or you know, uh, or hydraulic system. It's just a simple corkscrew that goes up and down. So uh, you won't have any issues on this and we'll give you a three year warranty on the column system because we know it's gonna work all the time for you. So that's the version four nanopod, the version three mini, version three mini with the mirror add-on. And now I'm gonna show you a quick demo on the version two and how it works uh, with the mirror system. So we have a front logo that's just uh, doing a loop. Uh, it's just what we call the um, start screen. You can actually change the logo uh, and we can do that for you. So if you have your own logo, we can place that in the front and have it cycle uh, with the actual, um, you know, uh, with the whole session as well. So it's a good, good way to promote your business, uh, have your logo there so people can see it and then start the session. Before I start, I wanted to show you uh, our add-on. This is the flash box that's just on top and it has magnets and this will give you flash capabilities as well. So the magnets just stick there and it's not gonna move. So on the back side, you'll see the control settings for the flash right here and everything just goes straight into the unit. We have a hole here. So the, the cable goes in there um, and I'll open it up so you can see it, take a peek. Camera system, it goes right into the camera and that goes into the mini PC. Uh, we have a really strong suction mount so you can uh, adjust it any way you want, left, right. So it's definitely easy to adjust. If you wanted to mount the camera portrait, you put it this way and this, it'll suction against here as well. So it's, it's basically doing both duties, portrait or landscape, any way you want it. Right now we have a landscape, but you can just flip it and stick it here and you have it on portrait for the camera. Uh, air vents along the side so it can breathe, uh, controls for the fan and for the extra LED lighting. So hit this button and now will turn on the fan. And you definitely want the uh, camera to be cool. So we have that there. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna turn on the Bluetooth speaker that gives us sound. All right, now I'm gonna hit start by touching it. All right, here we go. That's me there. Hi. Three, two, one. Look at the camera. Zero. Takes a flash, and that's how it looks like. So I have memes built in. Uh, we can change this easily. 
uh, the videos have sound built in. So as long as you have a speaker, you're good to go. Two. Here we go, second shot. One. Pose. Zero. There you go, flashes. Here comes our, the second picture. Now, this unit goes up and down too, so you can adjust it here. One, zero. Last picture. All right, so that's three pictures, and then it's going straight to uh, printing it out. So you can adjust it, so you can angle the mirror more. So rather than have like that, it could be on an angle more. So that's new as well. All right, so I'm gonna lower the volume here. And I'm gonna talk about the version six Lux Mirror, which we just released at the Photo Booth Expo. So I want to focus more and talk about this unique item which we call the folding leather case. Uh, in this sample, it's in black, and it's really hard to see, but I have a little example here that showcases why we're doing this. So just imagine like a little leather case that you can open up, and in there is a mirror. So imagine this was our Lux mirror. Uh, you could change the angle easily by just adjusting it. And then we also have the uh, perimeter lighting. So the LED perimeter lighting that you see here, kind of looks like that. And since this on the back side has all this extra space, we have room to put an iPad or a monitor uh, to showcase your branding. If you want to do a slideshow, this is a great idea. And in order to transport it, you just kind of fold it and it's flat and it's easy to move around. And that's the idea that we had when we, we made this big Lux mirror. And then this sample, it's in black. So I'll go to the back side. You can see how it looks like. All right, so this is cross-stitched leather with padding. So it's gonna protect your unit when you fold it. We have an iPad here, uh, but you can fit uh, our 21.5 inch monitor panel, which is an option as well. So you can have a small, an iPad where guests can email or uh, send their social media on the iPad or get a bigger monitor and that's your bigger surface uh, for your branding. So this one's in black. It has a nice gap here so you can actually put a printer back here and this space as well. We have some props here that you can actually take out and place on the pad so that way guests can just go up there and grab it. You can also put purses. Women can put the purse on the pad and not have to worry about getting dirty on the ground. And there's a little buffer zone. So guests know not to step too far into the mirror and they can still sign on it and interact with it. So it creates like a great little area in front of the mirror. So this is a black one. And we also have a white one here that we're shipping to a customer soon. So I just unwrapped it and you can see how that looks like white with bedazzled jewels in there. So we have white, we have black, we have espresso brown, and we have hot Hello Kitty pink. So four colors to choose from. What's cool about this is we have a 42 inch touchscreen panel built into this. The actual Lux bezel is only 1.25 inches thick. So it's a very thin bezel. And we managed to squeeze a mini PC in there. We managed to squeeze um, pretty much everything you need. So here's an example of the iPad attached to the white leather of the Lux mirror. So here's the backside. You can see how that looks. And if you swing over to the front, you also have the white padding as well, right here. If you remove the props and the soundbar, you have access to the padding, which kind of just goes up like that. And that's how you would transport it when you're ready to move it. So it gets protected. 
On the back side, we have a lock and key here. And if you open this up, that's access to the mini PC. So it's really easy to get to. And then we also have power for the LED lights and main power for the uh, unit. Uh, dual fans to cool it down. And two U external USB ports right there if you want to attach, for example, a printer. So here I have a little ottoman. I want to sque squeeze it right in here. And then you can put your printer on top of here. That way, uh, let me bring this down. So that way when guests can go, they can get the prints right there. We're coming up with the Lux Junior. So it's gonna be, right now it's uh, three feet by five feet. So three by five. Diagonally, it looking at about 70 inches from here to here. We're making a Lux Junior, which is gonna be a little bit thinner and a, just a touch smaller. So it's gonna be about 100 pounds. So a lot smaller if you want uh, something easy to carry around. Uh, this has a flash box on top and that one can come off as well. So I'm gonna to touch the session. Oh, actually I'll turn on the speaker first. So same thing, touch the screen. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, zero. It's gonna flash. There we go. And now this is uh, in portrait mode, so you get the full screen effect now. Now these animations are random, so it's not always the same. It's gonna come up with a different animation. Three, this is all run in dark room. Here we go. Flash is going off. And like I said, you can change these memes as well. Uh, put in your own and you can have it in Spanish and different languages too. Three, two, one. Last picture. Zero. Great, so that's the version six Lux Mirror. And we'll be releasing a Lux Junior, which is a little bit uh, smaller and uh, a lot lighter. So again, if you need to, uh, more information, go to photopod.com or check out the spec sheet, which is also on the webpage. And this will tell you exactly, uh, uh, you know, all the information you need, how much it weighs, the, the screen size. Since the Lux, Lux Mirror is so new, we don't even have a, uh, spec sheet yet but that's going to come up soon over here thanks a lot for watching the video take care bye